Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third episode of our signature executive exchange series, Wisdom of Wealth, Wild Talk. Now, in each episode of Wild wow Talk, we would invite prominent business leaders across different sectors to discuss Asia's booming wealth opportunities. And of course, we want them to share the secret to their success and also the wisdom to wealth generation. In our past two episodes, we explore the relationship between metaverse and health tech and wealth opportunities. And today, we want to bring you along to Hong Kong's art and cultural scene. We're very honored to have Ms. Suhania Rafael, Museum Director of M Plus Hong Kong, joining us here today. Now, M Plus opened its doors last year in November, and it is Asia's first global museum of contemporary visual culture, showcasing 20th and 21st century visual art, design and architecture, and moving images. And of course, with us on HSBC side, we have Ms. Maggie Ng, Head of Wealth and Personal Banking, HSBC Hong Kong, here with us today. Welcome both. So Suhanya, um, when you hear the name HSBC, is there a particular piece of art or installation that immediately goes to your mind? Actually many things, mm. not one answer but a few answers, mm -hmm. starting with the building itself. As a museum of visual culture that includes a real interest in architecture and design, this building designed by Norman Foster took seven years to build, opened in the mid-80s, 1980s is also a landmark part of Hong Kong's architecture. So that houses a great graphic design as well, the HSBC logo, which was also revamped by Henry Steiner in also in the early 80s. And we have those drawings in our museum collection on display right now for audiences to, to see. Um, together with you know the beautiful lions that welcome visitors <laughs> onto the site. So really, it's a great package. That's right, and it is a landmark as well. If you see this building, you almost immediately know that it is Hong Kong. Mm. We do have collected a lot of artifacts over the years, mm. right? It's sort of like telling a story of HSBC, how we're rooted in Hong Kong and seeing Hong Kong grow as well. It's a very important part of sustaining an institution, but also looking forward into the future in terms of cultural capital. Yeah. Um, we are really interested in building legacy, yeah. legacy projects for the city, for our community, but also the world. And we can only achieve that through partnership collaboration. Yeah. And we work closely with many people, but this is our first major corporate relationship and it's a very important step in terms of you know pioneering the work of what it means to support a big cultural institution in a city like Hong Kong and plus we're building cultural capital into the city HSBC is you know part of financial capital and great cities Great financial cities are also great cultural cities mm. and building cultural infrastructure is very important. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm super excited yeah. about the partnership. There's so much that we can do, starting with educating yeah. the Hong Kong people of art appreciation, giving them access to different collectors and artists. And of course, we're about to open, as part of our first anniversary, the Kusama exhibition. Yeah the big first major exhibition for the museum, mm -hmm. which is really comprehensive, 75 years of work by one of the you know, genius visionary artists of our time. Mm. She's still making work. Wow. Right. So it's an extraordinary thing for us to be bringing this together in a way that couldn't have been done without a museum like M Plus in the city. People say Hong Kong is a cultural desert. Mm. I disagree <laughs> absolutely. Mm. That's certainly not the case. Great artists, great creative makers, designers. What's happened in the last 10 years is that that's become much more cohesive and visible. And I think having many institutions doing incredible work in the city, including in the commercial space, yeah. has really brought that into focus, as well as collectors who've championed those artists' work. Mm. So what we see at M Plus is now that coming together in a, in a kind of focused way that amplifies and expands and brings a real global perspective 
to our local root. So it's like a beautiful tree or a blossom that's opening because it's, it's really bringing that energy, the nurturing that's happened over the last few years and really the last 10 years has seen Hong Kong really become one of the great cultural capitals of the world. Mm -hmm. Well, I think yeah. art itself, yes. the experience and appreciating arts and Hong Kong as a city we've been through a lot in the yes. last couple of years. It's just a breath of fresh air when we have yeah. M Plus and people get to have an outlet. Yes, it's a way, it's a, it's a respite. Mm. You know, it's a way of putting your you know, worries to a side and right. come in and get lost in other worlds. Yeah. And you can really take time out. Yes. It's it all is about a place for well-being. Yeah, yeah, and all about positive energies. Yes. Right? yes. Yeah. I think at the beginning, it, it hasn't occurred to me that there's a lot of similarity between the two of us. But as I, as I think into this a bit more, first of all, both arts, M plus, HSBC, we have deep reach in Hong Kong. We are appeal to the whole spectrum of audience, be it our customers or your audience, right? Whether you are grassroots all the way to ultra high. And we are here to serve our customers, but we do tailor to them, just like every piece of art means different thing to every different one. And financial services, banking services also mean different things to different people. What I pick up from what Sohanya was saying was the experience piece. It was just fascinating because it's obvious that art is about not just the appreciation but the entire experience. That's what banking is about too nowadays. It's no longer coming into branch lineup and queue up and all. If you've been to our wealth centres, we have two wealth centres. One is in K11, the other one is in, is in Haisen. It's, it's taking the wealth um, experience to another level. Mm -hmm. If you come to our branches, it's an all-encompassing experience. We have staff to serve our customers for you know 360. If you choose to bank with us on mobile, mm -hmm. digital, it's a 24 times 7 yeah. experience. Last week, last year, we invested a lot into our digital journey mm -hmm. so that it is intuitive experience for our customers. So at the end of the day, the, the customer comes in either appreciate a piece of art or get a transaction done, but the experience of that person coming in to view the art or completing the transaction is what's important to us. You know, art, I think, is invaluable. Mm. So value is social value, aesthetic value, mm. values in terms of relations. Um, it's many things, and of course, financial value is one aspect of that. And that is quite mutable, actually. It moves around depending on a market. Yeah, we do it in multiple ways, but as simple as because we are a bank in Hong Kong that has such a deep reach, the first thing that we can do is to increase the awareness and um, knowledge, education of general public, of art appreciation, what's happening. So that's why we're constantly working with auction house, and now we're very honored to um, partnering with M Plus to support some of the art activities in Hong Kong to promote it, mm -hmm. right? This is number one thing that I think HSBC has to do, being the community bank. Then, of course, you know, we also facilitate a lot of our clients have an interest and passion in art, so they do purchase art pieces and we facilitate the transactions, we also provide art financing. A lot of people don't know that we have, we do have a very good trust business and our trust business takes a full asset of our customers. So many of the trust business only take care of financial assets. We take care of all kinds of assets, including arts and buildings and all. We support the customers so that all the assets, no matter what form, can be part of their legacy for their future generations. And there are many, many ways that we could facilitate our customers as long as our customer has the need and interest. I think that's where, you know, we'll be very interested to support them. So we at M Plus talk about learning as lifelong learning. Mm. It never stops from the time you're born all the way through. It's circular, it's cyclical, and you, you know, we are always learning. But of course, the future 
is our youngsters, our next generation. And we have a dedicated learning hub at the museum mm -hmm. because we know that the curricula in Hong Kong does not necessarily, it's more STEM than STEAM, mm -hmm. although STEAM is coming in with yeah. the arts being brought in. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure that absolutely primary core activity is also learning mm -hmm. and that the museum is not a school but it has a big education component. Right. So it's active learning, mm. it's making, it's learning through printmaking, painting, clay workshops mm. and by participating. Right. Then you also understand how difficult it is to make a great abstract picture. Mm. You know, people often say, oh my child could do that. Try it, mm. not so easy. You know, we were talking about value. That's, that's a big part of the learning and the education is how you start to value then and be able to see that value in works that you're thinking about buying. You know, knowledge is very, very important part of learning mm. and, um, you know, the sources of knowledge. And museum is a great source of knowledge. Mm. And one of the um, great pieces of statistics that I can share in relation to M Plus's audience, you know, I said over 1.6 million, 64% of that audience is aged between 18 and 44. And they are coming into the museum, a young audience, very diligent, really serious about learning and applying that, that time to the project of the institution. It's fantastic. We spend a lot of time focusing on educating millennials. We think the wealth starts from young, just like how very much like wealth, arts, uh, right? You, you really need to build the habit yeah. when you are young and you have to do it right as well. Throughout the last year, we've built a, a huge HSBC collections of education materials yeah. targeting the millennials. So I'll give you an example. My son last year opened up a stock trading account. To his surprise, also to my surprise as well, after he opened the account, for a consecutive week, he has been receiving one email per day from HSBC, giving him small tips about, you know, what you can do with your accounts and this is how, you know, ways to diversify it and things like that. I didn't know about this until my son um, had access to it, but then it also goes to show our uh, determination to educate the millennials so that they have the right knowledge about investment yeah. and we also launched last year something called Trade 25 because from our FinFit survey we know millennials they really want to invest that's but the pain point is they don't know how and they don't have a lot of money so they can't afford to pay um, a hefty fees yeah. for a, a financial consultants to educate to walk them through it's a no thrill uh, product so we launched a Trade 25 no fees waive all the fees for the millennials to trade so that they can build up experience, investment experience over the years so that then it's better prepare them for, for the futures when you know the right opportunity comes they can grab those investment opportunities. If we look at it from an investment angle um, because wealth is about accumulating we certainly would like a lot more of our customers to start appreciating and participating in art. Um, the more we can encourage the community to participate, the more it will generate values for either that piece of art or the, the exhibition as a whole. But then the true wealth, it's about the inner self. It's not a monetary yes. value. Yes. It's about the inner self. So we use a very physical way to introduce art to our customers because of our reach, we can, we can reach out to them. But going back to our conversation about positive energy, that's what I think we need to, uh, we are hoping to cultivate for the market, for the city, um, and for the people here, that it becomes, you know, positive. Winning builds winnings, you know, positive builds another positive, positivity. That's what I see when together this market 
is super positive, then that's nothing that we cannot do. Um, I think I can say that from the lead partnership that we have with M Plus and then also to our latest Open to Art strategy, HSBC is really committed to taking the customer experience, the customer journey far beyond um, what you can imagine a conventional bank would do.